Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Prior to the 2015-16 NBA season, the Miami Heat were on the lookout for a quality veteran perimeter player. After a stint in Phoenix, Gerald Green was on the market. His next stop, Miami. So summer of 2015, you have some decisions to make about where you want to play. What was it about the Miami Heat approach that pulled you in? Man, that's easy. It's just the way the coach. You always hear stories about how hard they work and how hard the training camp is. But you always hear about, you know, how they're always winning, how close of a team they are, how once you're a Heat, you're a Heat for life. That really brought me to this organization. And the day I got here, man, it was everything where I thought it would be and more. I thank God every day that he helped me pick this opportunity. The Heat have officially added sharpshooter Gerald Green. The Heat further fortify the roster by adding Gerald Green. He's a swingman who can shoot and who is definitely not afraid to throw it down. Heat Nation may have had a view of how you approach basketball before you hit the floor on opening night. You came out and started ripping the nets apart, though, <laughs> from long range. Gerald Green from downtown. Green for three. Bang! Oh! Chef Boy RG win! I think I'm all around offensive player, and I just kind of wanted to show, you know, Heat Nation just, you know, just a little something what I can do. Look out, Gerald Green! We knew about the offense. No one knew how you were going to commit to the defense, and Heat Nation knows the only way to the light around here <laughs> is yeah, through defense. It's through defense, absolutely. Did you know that the, the, the second you came in? Before I flew down the sign, I knew I was going to have to do that. I knew I had to emphasize my game and really lock in on it. A steal by Green, racing with Gordon, and scoring! For me, it was a challenge, you know, because I wanted to prove people wrong. So I wanted to challenge myself. Blocked by Gerald Green! You talked about how enjoyable it was to play with Corn the first time. How was it to be reunited with him here in Miami? Oh, man. For me to unite with him, man, was good. He would fill me in with a lot of things offensively and defensively. He'll make it a lot easier for me his transition as far as how the organization goes. Dragic is green on the wing. Green attack mode. Oh, a right hand. Vicious slam by Gerald Green. And that night, you both dropped 20 on the Suns in Phoenix. That was a special night. No, it was. You were radiating with joy after that. I was. I was happy about it. It's always good to go back to your former team and then to get the win. Dwayne Wade, Goran Dragic, and Gerald Green have combined for 70 of Miami's 103 points. And a little bit before that trip, uh, you had a pretty special game against the Cavs. Green! Oh, my! <laughs> You know, when you get a dunk like that, it's a, it's a momentum play. Just trying to do whatever I can to, to, to get my team some energy. The reaction sometimes you get from the bench, they could celebrate a moment for a teammate, can't they? Oh, man, can't <laughs> Man, those, those guys, it gets me going. Yeah. I mean, because you don't got a lot of teams that really be out there day in, day out, rejoice in my success. Way to get back, man, way to get back! This team was one of the reasons why that we're at where we're at today. It was then time to pause our conversation because I wanted to take advantage of our surroundings by seeing if Gerald could recreate some of his dunks from over the years. I, of course, would also take a stab at it as well. Take us back to the one that you had in the McDonald All-American game. You bounce this one off the floor and then off the rim. Off the rim, off the yeah, yeah. I wanted to do, actually do something else. Uh-huh. I just wasn't able to do it. <laughs> see if I can do it, though. Yeah. So simple when you're athletic and tall. Well, That's now I got to try it. How's this going to go? It's all in the bounce. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. Ah! Come on! All right. Come on! All right. I'm going to need a stretcher, but I think I got it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Here it comes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we almost broke the goal. Did I make it? <laughs> Probably the dunk that people will remember the most, the cupcake dunk. How did you even come up with it? My brother, man. He's the one that called me and was like, I had a dream that you put lit a candle and blew it out while you was dunking. All right, well, we, got, we got a cupcake up there. Got it. Oh, and it stays up there every time. Oh, yeah, it ain't gonna go nowhere. Here we go. 
Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I to bluff. I was so worried about talking to I gotta give you this. Oh! This is my reward. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Teaching me the art of dunking. Oh, no problem, no problem. But I'm gonna tell you, unlike you, hey, man, eat that cocaine, this is going down. <laughs> Welcome back to Inside the Heat. As we well know by now, the commitment to the community is something the Miami Heat takes very seriously for the organization and its players individually. Joel Green knew all about that from the beginning. After a vacation overseas, he hopped right off the plane, jumped right into heat camp, and began to wow the children, creating and cultivating fans of his own right here in South Florida. This is my first day really in Miami, so it's good to kind of get out in the community and really see what the, the heat community is all about. You were on vacation. Yeah. You take this long flight, and you're coming in wild the kids. What were you doing? I wanted to show Heat Nation that I want to be a part of the community. You know, I want to do things for the kids. That's what it's about first. What's up, man? How you doing? That's so exciting to be an NBA player, and that's just awesome. And I wish that one day I could be as good as him. Did you feel the excitement from the kids? Oh, man, that got me going. I ended up doing a couple dunks for them. I'm all about trying to get back and make sure I can make kids laugh, inspire kids. I ready to fish out here, catch some fish. One uh, event that you did in particular was uh, with Alonzo Morning, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. lucky kids in Miami going fishing. Fishing is a thing that I like to do. It's kind of relaxing. When you might be having a stressful day, just get out on the water and think about the good times. And a lot of times when you get done with that, good things will happen. I'm grateful because this is my first time going to fishing, and I, I love Miami Heat. I'm just trying to show them that you can use this thing to to think about schoolwork or what you got to do or think about what you maybe done wrong and how you can fix it. You take fishing to, to kind of almost meditate in a way. Come on, come on, come on. Fishing is kind of, it's a patience, patient thing. So if you're patient, one of these days you will have the catch of the day. That's a nice fish. That was a busy day for you because you also had a toy giveaway on that same day for the holidays. What did you want those children to experience? Gifts. I just wanted to be able to have some gifts so they can open up for Christmas. You know, as a kid, I wanted to be able to open up one gift. So at least, at least I was able to get one or two, you know? And I feel like I tried to do my job. It's amazing. I never thought like I would get I thought I was going to get like a regular toy. It's very exciting. My heart is racing right now. I really got to see how appreciative families and kids are for just being able to help them out. Have a Merry Christmas, OK? Yeah, you can do that. Here's the deal for pizza. Come in. Hey, man, you got a bunch of toys, man. You must be good. It is clear that for Gerald Green, serving the Miami community is not a choice. It is a priority, a lesson he hopes to pass down to his own children by having them tag along. When you feel it, Jeremiah, when you feel something, you got to pull it up and then start with it, OK? So what do you want him to absorb from that, those moments where you're extending yourself to other people? Um, right, well, you know, he's, he's only four. So, you know, he's, he doesn't really get it right now. But I want him to get that when God blesses you to be fortunate enough to give out, give back. You know, give back, try to bless somebody else. You know, you might actually be touching this one kid that will always remember that, and that might change his life forever. While Green strives to touch the lives of those in need, his main priority is to inspire his two sons, Jeremiah and Julius. I love being a father, though, man. I embrace it. I mean, I would do anything for my kids. But, you know, being a father always takes a lot of time and work. You know, it takes a lot of commitment. Um, we got to try to lead by example. Whatever I do, on and off the court, whatever they see me doing at home, I always want to be a positive or be productive. Gerald Green, uh, we call him Hurricane for a reason. The lead for Green, look out below. He's very confident in himself. He wants perfection, you know, all the time. This is a championship team, a championship uh, culture. You know, they have championship aspirations, and, you know, I just want to be a part of that. If he can bring them instant offense, his ability uh, to jump, to dunk on people, to get rebounds, it's, it's unbelievable. He's a great um, guy, great teammate. He's a, a little bit of a comedian, and that's always nice to have on the team. Gerald has that ignitability that in a quarter you could all of a sudden put 14 or 16 points on the board. Those guys are rare. Green hammers it home! You guys are rolling, playing some very oh, good basketball. Playing some basketball. So, right. what are the expectations? My expectations for this team is to keep playing Miami Heat basketball, and then the, the rest will the rest will say itself. Everybody knows what Miami Heat basketball is all about. Gerald Green is a quintessential Texas sharpshooter. 
an awesome, well-mannered disposition to go along with a defensive mind that helps explode his offensive game even further. Whenever his number is called going forward, you know he's going to impact the bottom line, and that is anything it takes to win on both ends of the floor. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. I just heard the music start. We're going to do it live. What? What? Do it live. I ain't got a problem with it. Is that okay? It. That's cool. Here we go. I'm going right here. Oh, my God. You couldn't do that again even if you try. I'm going to wait for that. <laughs> I'm just going to give myself a little, little help. You all right with that, right? We've got to stop this. <laughs> this has got to end. <laughs>